Thank you. It's um, almost to the week, 25 years ago, that we uh, played here for the first time as an opening act. As an opening act for ZZ Top before the first album came out. And uh, whether it was from this stage and the history that I remember being a part of, or whether it was coming here as a fan and sitting up in the top row of the bleachers up in there. This place always brought back such great memories. If, uh, you know, one time I got arrested for selling posters out on the street corner, they were bootleg posters. <laughs> 1978. I tried to sell one to one of the cops. And, uh, he put me in the paddy wagon and took me down and I just said, but I'm just trying to make enough money to buy a ticket. And he says, here's your ticket, get in the paddy wagon. <laughs> so took me in. I remember, um, <clears throat> my God, playing here for the concert for New York after 9-11. The whole building was shaking and moving. I remember being here as a fan, just sitting right over there and watching Elton John and up there and watching Bruce and over there and watching The Who. Probably up there somewhere, right, when we saw Bowie in 1982, I guess that was. A lot of stuff in this joint. But uh, I just want to give you props and thanks and my uh, most heartfelt gratitude for allowing me to sing to you all these years. And, that's the pray for you. You never turned your back on us. You never let, let us down. And you always made us work hard to, you know, come back home and to give everybody around here something to be proud of with this band. And I want to thank you for that. I think you know this one. This little son Richie and I wrote in his mama's basement in 1986. Next to the washing machine, right? Go somewhere. 